Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I just got a job that I can't pass up. And the cool thing about this one is I don't even have to trailer the tractor. I'm going to brush hog a property that is right there. That takes a lot of the hassle out of setting up and means I can actually do it today. Should be a quick, easy job. Hopefully this is a boring, uneventful video. But in my experience, that's never how it actually works out. We'll find out in a minute. Well, when my neighbor came over, I said, yeah, I can brush cut that tonight. Sounds like no problem. Then I got a phone call that I wanted to take. And, and after that, I walked out here to hook up the brush cutter. And I forgot that I broke a shear pin in it the last time I used it. And I don't have another replacement. So... Hopefully, flail mower will work for what he's got. I think it probably should. And I've got about an hour and a half before it gets dark. And he said one acre. So hopefully we can get her done. He also said it wasn't that urgent that it gets done right away. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And I have plans the next day. And I'd rather not drag it out if I don't have to. I'm hoping the mower deck cooperates today. I could leave it on, but it makes more sense to take that off before I go. I think I jinxed myself by making a comment. I've never had trouble getting this off. And there's these two little paddles that flip over to let you get it off and they're not flipping. One side won't flip over. For that paddle to flip over, the deck needs pushed back. I thought maybe if I drug it along for a minute, that would do it. That ended up being a wrestling match. I had to just kind of force it back by hand. All right, this is one I never do. We're putting the tractor in high gear and we're going out on the road. I used to do it, I haven't done it in a long time. I was headed up to his driveway. It's not at his driveway, it's right here.
you look at how tall this material is that I'm cutting and then the finished product, this flail mower really does a remarkable job. Couldn't be more impressed. Well, that felt like a good idea right up until it wasn't. And I stopped for three reasons. Number one, the property is not really bigger than he told me it was, but I was just picturing the flat part on the side closer to my house. But there's a creek that runs through there, and he wants me to try to get into that as far as I can from both sides. That's going to take more time than I was thinking, and so there was no way I had time tonight. But I could have kept working. Second reason is handle that creek, a brush cutter would be better than the flail mower. Because the flail mower doesn't really mow in reverse, and I'd rather be cutting as I back up, going down into that. The last reason is there's something wrong with my tractor. Technically, there's two things. One of them is very minor. As I was trying to get the mower deck off, the tractor was running, and if I back up real quick, the last time I ran it, it overheated. I had to stop and put antifreeze in it coolant, the John Deere special coolant, whatever it is, and when I was, I did that, and then I used it, and it was fine, but as I was trying to get the mower deck off, I saw a steady drip coming out of the hose that I added for my heater, so it's not even a John Deere part, just something I added, but it was leaking coolant, and I was thinking I was probably going to have to add coolant halfway through, and that would have slowed it down again, but those are the smaller reasons. The bigger reason is there's something wrong with the lights on my tractor. I don't know if this is a major problem, a minor problem, no problem at all. Probably there's a relay or a switch that's bad. And it could have been when that hydraulic fluid was, was shooting into this control station here. And I said, when I had the hydraulic leak, it looked like there was smoke coming out of this panel here. Could have fried some kind of a sensor. But let me show you what it does. So, if you don't have a John Deere tractor or this model, you might not know what I'm talking about. But in 725 hours running this tractor, I have never seen the PTO light flash. I don't know what that means. I tried to do a quick Google search up there. I was seeing that there were some results, but not an immediate answer at the top of the search results. And, you know, hopefully it's nothing major. The PTO was functioning, there was no vi unusual vibration or noise, or there was no indication of anything wrong, except for the fact that light is not supposed to be flashing. So, I'm going to do my research, see what I can find out, and I guess that's going to be the end of the video. Anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos.
and I'll see you next time.